So I'd like you to start this exercise by picking a phrase that describes your golf swing. Is your golf swing effortless power or is your golf swing powerless effort? Now, most of the times you watch the guys on the TV, it looks like effortless power. They stand over the ball, swing it gently, the thing disappears 300 yards down the middle. And then for a lot of club golfers, it feels like powerless efforts. They're putting a huge amount of effort into the golf swing and it goes 150 down the middle. So where's the difference? Well, for a lot of the club golfers versus pro golfers, it's how the club is released into the golf ball that's the difference. A club, club golf will often struggle to release the club this way. They'll get a bit what I would call the chicken wings, where the lead left arm goes into the air, the right elbow bends, and the elbows are a long way apart. And the opposite of that is what we often see with the best players in the world, where they release the elbows together, the hands cross over here, and they point the club a little bit more down the target. And that releasing of the golf club through the target is often that releasing of power, the power that we're often lacking if your golf swing is feeling like the powerless effort that you're putting into it currently. So if we can work on releasing the trail arm a little bit more efficiently through impact, that might be where those extra yards are hiding. What I'd often encourage you to do here is look at a, a younger golfer, look at a teens golfer, or even look at a female golfer and watch how they generate power. If they don't necessarily have massive strapping muscles and they're not, you know, they're not really heavy set golfers, but they're able to hit the ball a long way, they're squeezing every bit of out, every ounce of effort out of their, their frame, out of their skeleton. They're getting the most power. Now that's going to happen because they lag the club well and release the club well often big golfers swing it as hard as they can, don't release it, and it doesn't go as far as the little golfer or the female golfer that plays on tour. So in this next couple of exercises, we're gonna work on releasing that golf club. Good feeling here is that you load the lag in that trail hand, and then you release the lag through that trail hand. Now, if you want to make some exercises doing this, a great way of feeling that is feet together. So feet together, Gently back, gently through, and straight away my hands cross over, my elbows stay together. Gently back, gently through. And what I've done here is I've stopped my body doing as much work, so it means my hands have to release better. And at no point would I feel comfortable doing this, but I want my hands to release better. An L shape through to an L shape. L shape to L shape is a great way of you feeling how you can release your club better and how you can stop the powerless effort that you're currently using and make your hands release for more, uh, more distance, more powerful golf shots.